So now I want to say a little bit about vinyl. Because um, at BET, there was, um, I think it's now called Toshiba Radio, but it used to be uh, BET Radio. And uh, Russell Prue was not there first first couple of days of, of BET. I think he was a bit ill. But he did recover because I've seen him tweeting. And um, I just did ask him to say a little bit about, about vinyl. Because he, he had a, a, a record player, a proper a proper record player on which you could pl- put vinyl. And uh, what, I've, what I've gathered from the, the tweets is that he thinks there's a lot of interest in vinyl in schools. I don't know, it's just, it's just strange, isn't it? This, this research that um, between the ages of 5 and 15 in the UK, people watch more television. No, they don't watch television, they watch their tablet more than they watch their television. And I, I did have a look to see whether radio came up. Radio isn't mentioned. So what they make of vinyl, I don't know. I've lost John. John's off in his um, no, I'm phone. No, I'm listening to you. <laughs> but that's the other thing they said, that um, people can get lost in their phones. Well, yeah, it's very, uh, it's very likely. Anyway, I just mentioned, I, I, um, I picked up a copy of New Musical Express, which is now completely free in HMV, because I go into HMV to study the, the CDs. Yes, we all know you go into HMV to study the CDs. And um, they've got an advert in there. There's a, there's, they say vinyl is back, jazz is back. And it's going to be, well, quite expensive, really, as a magazine, because you get, a, you get a, a vinyl jazz bit as well. But the first one is only four ninety nine, and it's got a Miles Davis... Um, album in it as well so we will play some Miles Davis towards the end to um, to close the show because the edge of jazz is going to be here about about two o'clock <laughs> 